G'day, how you going? Ian Aplis here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my video where I like to teach beginners how to paint beautiful and effective paintings in acrylic. I'm just gonna get my sizes on the canvas there for you in inches and also we'll get some colors going up the screen there. Now, did you see the picture in the opening credits? Pretty effective, pretty simple. We're gonna do that with two colors today. Pick your colors. All right, and um, so I've got the horizon line on this one a little bit under halfway. If anything, you want your horizon lower rather than higher. The higher it is, it means the higher up you are looking down at your landscape, seascape, whatever you're painted, okay? All right, so come on over here and we'll get started, all right? So like I said, I've got my horizon line just slightly scratched in there because I want to have some kind of uh, river house hut jetty type of thing here just with some trees in the background and some real distance there, okay? And some kind of stuff here as well, and maybe a boat. Okay, I've got me putter on a brush and I've got my craft paint, student paint, poster paint. If you don't have any of that, just get ceiling white from the hardware store. I just like to prime the under part of the painting with this so my colors will sit on there on the canvas beautifully, okay? And I wanna just crisscross this into the two for my canvas and get it all over there. Now, if I'm just looking at that, if anything, I might bring my horizon line a little bit lower than that as well. So we'll get this over the whole painting here, whole canvas. No retarder in this. It's only gonna be two colors, white, and you choose what color you want, whether you want blue, brown, orange, yellow, red, whatever. I'm gonna go for the brownie color, okay? Now I've got that all in there like that, right? It's on there, but it looks like a donkey's nonsense, all right? Let's stroke that left and right, just so as it's nice and pleasing to look at. So I've wiped the brush, but I'd like the gray to have a tinge of blue in it, okay? So I'll just get all this mixed up, just so as it's not full on gray, just a Bit of blue in there. Now you can make your background color whatever you want. This is just a tutorial to show you what you can do with limited colors and brushes, okay? There we go, I want that gray more than anything, not blue. I think I might have put a little bit too much blue in there, but no, that's okay, that's okay. Now I'll quickly get all the sky on everywhere, pick up more of that paint and get the water half in as well, because we're gonna have water and pull down colors in this crisscross it everywhere pushing it right where i want it i'm not going for brighter or duller values in this color i just want it all on the canvas so having that white craft paint under there help this flow across the canvas now i'll stroke that so it looks beautiful and soft and pleasing to the eye ready for the rest of it okay now this could be a quick painting let's see how we go all right, now my color for this is gonna be burnt umber. So I've got the burnt umber and it's gonna be tinted with bits of white and even some black later on. So we'll get a bit here. I'll just pull a bit over here. And this is gonna be the very background section, okay? So I'm just using a knife to mix that up because I haven't got a brush ready at the time. Now that's still a little bit dark, so I wanna put more white into that. These are gonna be the very distant mountains and trees, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wipe the knife, and that's another reason why I suppose I use the knife, because I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna just wipe the knife. These kitchen chuck towels are beautiful. They're a bit more sturdy than paper towels. And we'll just get some, on one edge of the knife, just like that, and work out where you might want some mountains. So I want, I want something scooting right off here, down there. This is just background, okay? Bit there, just into nothing. That's it. Okay, I'll pick up some more. I might put another one, because this is very like Vietnam style. I don't know, very high mountains. Just something like that. I'm picking up some more paint. I might put some more there, just scooting down. That's it. Just hints of them in the background. And maybe something sharp up here. Because in those Asian countries, their mountains are quite tall. 
Now see how easy that was to go onto the canvas? Leave it knifey and scratchy, it's beautiful. I will get the top half of these ones a bit more pleasing. That's it. That's it, done, the mountains are done. Okay, now I'll probably want my horizon, let's say about here. Okay, so I'll just mark it there, there we go. I've got a horizon line there. Now with the same paint, I've got like a hog bristle brush here, something that can make some, you know, trees, hopefully. Now if they're not gonna come out very well, I'm going to have to dry the painting. Because I just want some distant trees here now, so. Now see there? You can't see that from the mountain, so I will put the tiniest little bit of burnt umber with that again. I deliberately done that just so you can see because a beginner can easily do this mistake. So there's the burnt umber, just a little bit. And we wanna just change the value of that paint there, okay? And now you will see it lift out against those mountain colors. Okay, and we're just trying to try and make some simple tree. There you go, look at that. Simple but effective. One tree there. Maybe there's going to be, oh, we'll have a something there and do them in pockets and sections like there, just like that. And maybe one over here. And we might have something dancing in there as well. All right. Now grab your knife if you want. Uh, we, we can also grab a little bit more of that brown. Just over this side here. It's just subtle. Now we're gonna grab some of that on the knife. And those trees that we just put in, just try and put some more. Oh, get some branches. Okay, where are we? Try and come from the middle out. Lie your knife up. This is all background stuff, okay? Something here. It's just slightly darker than what was put on, okay? It's gonna be covered up. Now with that same paint, I'll grab a bit more white there and a bit more of that brown. Um, with that same paint, I just wanna put some shrubbery at the bottom of those tree groups, just to make it artistically pleasing. So, and it's gonna probably sit those trunks back as well. So we just got some bush now, bush there. Just bush all in front of that ground bush. And that can be, there's my horizon line, right? That can be pulled down into the water. Just use that to create your line, your horizon line, okay? Well, look at that, there's a, um, a nice hair there. I'll just get that off. There we go, we've got that in a reasonable straight line. Now we're gonna sort of sit these mountains back with the next row of trees, okay? And they're gonna be darker. So I've got me burnt umber again, pulling it onto there and grabbing some more white. Now try and leave a bit of this paint left over there just so you can see the difference in darkness. Now I want it a lot more darker than that. I might have to put more burnt umber onto my palette. So yes, I will. So what I'll do, put a lot more into there. Now I'm going to give it a bit of a squirt just so as it doesn't get too hard on me. So I made it dark and I've got the pure burnt umber. So I've got that same brush. I want to get the pure dark and just put the darker elements in there first. So I want to get this on there like that. Get it all over me brush. And I want to get something up here, right? So we'll, we'll get our tree. Oh, look at that. Now we're going to break it up. Come in front of that. So we're breaking up the mountains there. I want to bring something in front of that. 
and I want it quite dark down here where the middle of the tree is. Okay, can have something floating out here as well. Okay, but it's quite dark here. Now we'll, of course it's dark down there. We'll put a bit in the water and pull that down as well. The water's still wet. I gave the top bit a little bit of a dry just so as we can get it to stamp on there, okay? Now we'll do the same over here where I think I'm gonna have another one with this color. So something way up here somewhere, boom, boom, umbrella it out, sink those mountains back. Come in front of there, yeah, beautiful. Right dark there. Come down into your water a bit and then just start pulling it down. Nice and straight though. Get that in there. Nice and straight. Same here. Use your knife, put some main branches scratching into that paint there, just like so, get right up to there. Just scratching, same here. Some of it probably will get covered up. We're just adding branches like that, okay? Boom. Don't worry about your reflections. Now I will grab some of this lighter color that we mixed just to sink those trunks back and put over those darks there, okay? Start with this one. We're just sinking those darks back. Let's put it there, over here. Are we over that one? Yeah. I'm sinking those trunks back, see? I'm kind of lacing this in front of it, just like that. I'll put some of this value in the shadow there. And now while we've got that happening, I want to grab the white now, and we're going to make a beautiful, brighter colour. Just so as we can find different bits of this. There we go. Over here. And we'll put some of this in the water as well, just pulling it down in a very straight line. I just got a hog bristle fan brush and I just want to get some white into some of those trees there. Just something like, there we go. Just like that, it gives it the lights and darks playing with each other. And if you've done this and you think, oh, I've done it too much, put the darks back. Now, remember I said I'm gonna use some black? Well, I've got a little bit of black there with some burn umber. I want it really dark, a really darker value of the burn umber. And we're just gonna put some bushes in front of those trees there. They need to sit them back, they gotta be darker. So it's just burn umber and black really and white. So we might, there's our waterline there, okay? So we might wanna just put some of these here like that in front. Get it darker, come on. Now I'm gonna dry that because obviously it needs to be dry. It's not dried enough, but we'll pull that down into the water as well, that darker bit. There we go, I'm just stamping it on because the water's gone a bit draggy, but I do want that element of um, darkness in the water and I want, I'm getting this raw black now, there we go. I want this nice and dark. Just coming across there. And probably some out here somewhere. Oh yeah, nice and soft does it. And then pull it down. I'll stamp it into the water so you can get that pull down look. There we go. I'm just using a big round here, hog bristle round brush. 
this here needs to be more black. There we go. Just make the make sure the water half is dragged with pull down strokes. Because these darks are just setting that lighter colours back. Now I do want to lighten that a bit, so I'm going to grab some of the brown on one side of that brush and some of the white on the other. Okay, and hopefully, yeah, we can do the old Len Hen method of dark one side and bright on the other side of the brush. Now, when you do this, you have the you turn the light as you need it to add it on. So I'm going to dab, 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 and look at that. The old master Len Hen taught me. I'm rolling the brush to the side to get those colours on there. Boom, boom, boom. And then we can just pull it down into the water there like that. Okay. Now I'm loading the brush again. Dark on one side, light on the other. And we'll do the same here. You want the, there's the bright to the top of the brush and you can roll that accordingly. So it's picking up the dark and the light. There we go. Go past your background and then we just pull that down into the water as well. Leaving that dark band in the middle there. Look at that, see? All right, I'm gonna give this just a dry so I don't smear it or then we'll put our little hut over here. And for the hut, I'm just gonna use just pure burn umber, okay? Down here with a knife. And I'm gonna use the knife as my paintbrush, okay? So I'll get it on one side like that. And we wanna put a jetty. So we're pretty much, well, the jetty will be here, but I want that in front of the house. Let's put that there for a minute. So we'll put a, let's just say, it's going to be dark so we're making that's the peak of it the front of it there's the front of it right there now you can brush this in if you want i'm just using the the knife because it's more i don't know well i hope it's more artistic looking by the time i've finished it so i'm pretty much doing that shape there boom and then we'll get the roof on so the roof's going to come down on an angle, don't do it straight, it's gonna be out of perspective. There's our horizon line, so if anything, you you bring your roof to there. That's gonna be one of these sort of roofs. Now, I'm doing all the dark color first, so as the lights will highlight it, and then it'll, it'll look the part. I need this edge there. There we go. Boom. And then, there. So we got the bottom of this. We'll get that out a bit from there. There we go. Now if you feel you can't do a hut like this, I'm going to leave the screen so you can pause it and screenshot it to get your traceable of that hut okay. There you go, because we need to get all these darks in before we add the other colours. And then we might have, um, now the jetty's going to come along here, so the jetty's pretty much straight. Bring that down to your jetty there, I suppose. We're going to have all sorts of sails and cloth the way they do on their stuff. And we want to get, let's go to about there. Try and get the underneath of that reasonably straight, just like that. Get that in there just like that. There we go. And now we want to get some. I want the main corner, let's say about here. So I'm going to, even though you can't see it in there, I want it there. And then it's going to be smaller here. Okay. Smaller there. And then we're going to have some all the way across the front of it the jetty here, up there, down there. Get some more in the middle.
These will be highlighted in the dark bit so they'll make sense later on. And let's see if we can... No, we'll do that later. You just want to bring these ones on an angle coming down to this corner here, okay? So, so it's sort of got some perspective with it because it's a bit of a junky old jetty thing, whatever this house is sitting on. Okay. And it wouldn't hurt if you even had some sticking up as well. Now what I want to do, I'm just going to grab a firm, <coughs> excuse me, brush, just so as I can get some of this darker value into our water there. So we're going to, where are we? Just some of these, pull them down into the water. Just like that. And I want a darker value pretty much in the middle indicating the actual building, okay? But the bright colours we add onto this is going to separate all this dark mumble jumble. Now I've given that a, a good dry with me dryer. Now I'm going to do the rest with this flat brush. It works like a knife. And I want to get, let's say, some more white into this. I want a really bright tinted value of this. Just enough to make the shapes of everything. And then on top of this, we can put our pure white. Okay, that's the reason behind this mix here. So I'm going to shape up the end of my square flat brush there and within this structure now we've got to see there's the roof you've got to imagine the rest of it coming down and then the front face of it okay the front face of it so we want to bring this down 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 to about there okay and then it's going to jut along and this is all straw hay wheat whatever they make their roofs out of okay fading to black at the back but it's got a lot of this colour in it and get it reasonably straight. You just can do a better job with this flat brush, I feel. Okay, now see in here we need we need the overhang. So we'll get this just coming down, scratch it down, scratch it down. Just scratch it in between those there we go. And maybe some out here, not too much. Something like that. That's looking the part. Now we will highlight this with actual pure white to get our actual shapes going. I just want to fix that corner up. And we'll get some of the jetty highlighted. So if anything, I'm feeling the lights coming from the left side, I suppose. You make up your own mind where you want your light coming from. Using this brush. And you want to get these pylons now in front of that building highlighted, but leaving the darks there as well. It's not a realism painting, this one. It's just a beautiful piece of art you're creating for this exercise today get some more on there now if you feel your paints not sticking as well as you would like it to dry your canvas give it a dry I'm just wiping my brush I just dabbed a when I was online now I'm going to pull some of these into the water just so they look a bit more pleasing to the eye got that wet look about them see and you don't want it hard in the water we could probably glaze this water up we'll see how we go later on now I'm going to dry this and um, add the pure white now for the pure white I'm going to grab some of this dirty stuff that we had over there okay that one there and 
I want that to be the pure white, but it's just slightly tainted, okay? I just don't want raw white on there. So I want to come down this gable side of the roof here. Just like that. And the top of it. And I'm going to do like rows, something like that. Just so it looks more grass hut structure like. Okay, now we could put a maybe a bit of a light window source there, something of that nature. And now we want to highlight the tops of these pylons in the jetty, just mainly on the top side of it. Don't worry about going into the water, but leaving the darks there as well. Just very gingerly out here. Let's see what will happen if we go there. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> no, I'm just scratching these back in there. I might even put a another one. Keep it straight, my brush is bent, so just something like that. Okay, same brush. Let me get that knife and sit that in the water. That's getting more hard. Same brush, I've got the burnt umber again, and I want to put like a one of their fishing boats in there as well. So I've got a nice opening up here. I might use that as a thing, so they're kind of now the boat's got to be flat on the water, but try not to make it look like it's going uphill. So I want to, where's my boat about here? I want the boat, one of those bent boats, it's on the water and then it's coming up here like that. Pick up some more paint and I'll go again, just to a point, boom. And now I'm going to use this brush just to scratch it in. And if you don't have a traceable for this, I don't have a traceable for this boat, you can freeze frame the um, video. I'll go there a bit more, give it a bit more perspective and use this as your, your template, okay? So pretty much there like that. And they have a big, barrel on top of them like that. Let's go like that. Like that and it's sort of going up the boat. We'll give it a bit of a, oh God, I've hit some dirty paint there. We'll give it a bit of a tail. Now you will have to dry this as well. Okay, and then we'll put our mask on it. So which will go about here, I want it to go all the way up the centre here, boom, about there like that. And then just bring a sail off that coming right to the back of the boat. So we'll start from about here and then let your brush come fat right to there, boom, just like that. So we'll fix that up a bit. And then we can put some kind of ropes around the edge as well so we'll get this fixed up in there now now you don't have to add this if you don't want to put a bit of a rope coming from it into the water just nice skinny rope into the boat boom now what i'm doing i'm getting the very bottom of the boat pulled 
down into the water if I can. Just like that. Somewhere there. Okay, just got my script line and I'm just putting little ropes and doodars here. There. Now we'll put the lighter colours in the boat. So we're grabbing the dirty white again over here. Now this is the titanium white out of the tube. Okay, that's dirty enough. And I want to kind of get the front of this boat like there coming around like that so that's a bit you go in you got me <laughs> and then all over all of this we've just got this type of thatching going on I don't know get some more up here We'll get some brighter colours in the hull of the boat as well, just down here. And also in the sail, I want some kind of just down there like that, coming in front of that. Then we'll grab our script liner again using that white paint just to put all the little rope details in front of everything as well okay so I'm just grabbing a little script liner and like we'll get let's say we'll have one all the way from around there come into that one there boom join it up just make all these little features bits of rope and it just gives it that junky boat look but there we go now I'm just looking at it I'm playing lights with dark so this one needs some more dark here now Getting some more of the dark paint if I can. Coming in front of all this light stuff here. Playing with it. Uh, where else are we? We could probably get some more dirty ropes out there, I don't know. And I also want to bring the um, sail, let's say that sail in front of the roof of the boat up there like that and it can be chunked it out there and then just hit that with a bit of light as well appropriately and I'll get some on my brush there we go oh, I'm ever so sorry my camera wasn't on when I was putting all this white paint on for the water. So I kept everything level with the horizon line and the bottom of the painting, okay? And I've just sunken back all the shadows here and there, okay, with white paint. Okay, let's whack a frame on this and see how it looks. Should look quite good in a frame. There you go. That's not too shabby. We've got an Asian river boat scene, okay? Uh, a river house, river boat scene. And that's not too shabby. We've got some distance there, some subtle hints of um, background mountains and just coming to our foreground structures here. And just remember, you can do that. All right, hope you enjoyed this exercise and got something out of it and be sure to watch my ads to support my content here on my YouTube channel. And if you like what I'm doing, tell your friends, but if you don't, you tell everybody, all right? Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.